there is inflation rearing its head in the US economy and there is deflation coming into the Chinese economy. And here in India, we are right here in the middle, down four weeks in a row and sentiment at the moment seems to be really, really difficult for the bulls. How do you gauge this market globally and where do you think India is placed? Shail Bhai, globally, we are seeing many, many dark clouds. In US, on one side, inflation is higher than Fed's estimate, and hence they have to raise interest rates. But to control inflation, what is most essential is to take away liquidity. And here, Fed has been grudgingly taking away liquidity, which is why market is expecting rates to remain higher for longer. But if rates remain higher, there is a problem with student loans and credit card loans. US economy is about seven times bigger than India. But their credit card loans are 40 times bigger than India. And their student loans is 90 times bigger than India. In fact, all the loans borrowed by Indians, housing, auto, personal, is about $825 billion, half of what American students have borrowed. So clearly, whether it's US, Europe, China, Japan, they are all having one problem or other in terms of inflation or growth. When we compare to them, Indian economy is in a reasonably good shape. Our inflation has spiked up last month, but that's temporary as tomato prices have started coming down. Our growth is little below our potential, but it is still one of the highest among major economy. And we are firmly on our way to become third largest economy from fifth largest economy over the next couple of years. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.